Good day to everyone. Welcome to another video here at Maid Farms. For today's video, we will show you how to filter your black water or your septic waste in your farm. For today's video, we will show you how we treat our septic waste here at Maid Farms. We use a sub-irrigated garden, so we'll show you the step-by-step -step procedure on how we built it and we'll show you how it functions. So to start the design, we use a SketchUp program to draw the parts of our septic system and prepare for earthworks. Our septic system consists of two chambers and then it will overflow to our sub-irrigated garden, half filled with gravel and the top part filled with soil. We use poured concrete to pour the septic tank in the sub-irrigated garden prevent any leaching. We also placed waterproofing on the walls so that it won't leach on the outside and contaminate the aquifer. You can see here the piping system, the 4 inch pipe and the 2 inch pipe which leaches the black water to the sub gravel bed. So we will fill it up with gravel up to the overflow from the septic system, it will flow downwards, then overflow to our 4-inch pipe overflow. The 4-inch pipe overflow is connected to our leach field. The 2-inch pipe you see there is our gray water drain from the shower and from the kitchen sink. Then, a geotextile is placed to prevent the soil layer from clogging the gravel layer. Make sure we spread the new text that we will need all throughout the gravel layer. Another layer, a thin layer of gravel to prevent the fuel from moving or shifting when we put the soil in. Make sure the gravel spread evenly through the rear textile. The next layer would be the soil layer. The soil layer is where the plenary action or the water from the gravel layer will pass through to irrigate the plants on top. Because it's sub-irrigated, the plants are or the water is not in contact with the people or the farmer, so it, there's a very small risk of contamination from E. coli. So once the soil layer has been filled or the gravel bed has been filled up. You can now prepare the land or the soil to plant your plants. This is an example of a banana plant. The plants we chose for this sub-irrigated garden are the plants that love water or the water-loving species. We also have a yam. The plants here or the crops we harvest from the sub-irrigated garden will not be fed to humans or is not for human consumption. Instead, it will just be fed to our livestock to prevent any contamination. Here we also placed lemongrass. After planting, we will put a mulch layer to prevent evaporation and excessive water loss. Just make sure that the mulch is not in contact with the stem of the plants to prevent the plants from rotting. The excess of the system will now run through our leach field and irrigate our fruit trees. Water here is now safer to irrigate our fruit trees because it already passed through our sub-irrigated garden. So 
So there you have it, our sub-irrigated garden to filter our black water or septic waste in our farm. Again, thank you for watching our videos. To learn more about sub-irrigated gardens or how we treat our septic waste here at Made Farms, subscribe to my channel Madodal or like us on Facebook Modular Aquaponics. See you in the next videos.